Did you know that something as simple as this marshmallow sits at the center of a huge experiment that's been talked about for decades? Find out how right here on Thinking Big. So in the 1960s and 70s, Stanford University did an experiment called the Marshmallow Experiment. The idea was very simple. They selected some kids around three to six years of age. Each kid was brought into a room with one table and chair. They were given a marshmallow and told if they waited until the person came back, they would get a second one. We decided to repeat this experiment right here on Thinking Big to see if we could learn anything about this month's big idea, patience waiting until later for what you want now. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna have you have a seat in this chair right over here, over here, there you go, good job. So I have a marshmallow for you right here, okay? We always like marshmallows. Oh, that's perfect. So I'm gonna leave this right here, and I'll come back in a little bit, and if Whoa. it's still here, I'll give you another I one. I will look like this. Okay, that works. Look it away. Hey, Mr. Owen. Look, I did eat it. Do you want to eat him now? I'll let you eat him now. Go for it. <laughs> Is it good? That's awesome. Hey, I have a question for you. Oh my goodness, that was a big bite. Be careful, don't joke. Is that a good marshmallow? Yeah. It's all gone. Good job. I'm going to take your plate if that's okay. So I have a couple questions I just want to ask you. Is that okay? Hey, so do you know what patience is? Yeah, what's patience? Waiting. Waiting, that's right. Be calm. Be calm, that's a good one. So is waiting hard? Yeah. No, you ate it, didn't you? Was it good? Can you think of something that you have to wait for maybe at home? I'm um, waiting for lunch. What's something that your mom and dad have to wait for? Uh, waiting for me and like to stop talking. For you to stop talking? So why is it hard to wait? Because I really want to. You really want stuff? So what are some things that makes it easier to wait? Just be happy. Being happy, that's a good one. Sometimes I sit at home, sometimes I play. I have a new house. You have a new house? That's pretty cool. Even though I don't have it there yet. What? I don't have a playground yet, oh. so I have to wait for it. Yeah, that's a good example. But it's fun because I, I, I really like to play, and I play while I wait for it. That's awesome. Is it good to wait? No. No, it's not good to wait? Why not? Because I don't like to. That's a good answer. All right, well, are you ready to go see your mom? We're going to head on out these doors right over here, OK? My hands are really thick. They're really sticky. Well, we can get you a wet wipe, too. Good job. <sighs> OK, good job, Isaac. There you go. All right, I'll be back in a little bit.
So there is the experiment. Obviously, it's hard to be patient sometimes. But what's interesting is the original experiment in the 60s and 70s actually followed the kids all the way to adulthood. They found that the ability to wait for what you want now actually helped the kids their entire lives. So how do we have patience? It can be really hard. Well, it can start just by thinking twice, taking a minute to remember that even though you may want something right now, sometimes it really is worth the wait. That's patience, waiting until later for what you want now. Thanks for tuning in to watch this awesome video all about the big idea. Click here if you want to see even more videos about big ideas or you can subscribe to our channel so you know when the latest video has been posted. You can also check us out on Facebook or thebigideaexperience.com. I did it! That was it, right? <laughs>